question was, how did I get to Trinity Evangelical Church? And the question for me actually turned out to be, how did God bring me to Trinity? My name is Selena Kangas Raleigh. In November 2010, my life was totally different from the one that you know today. I was um, on a path to mental and emotional destruction. I was very close to ending my life, very close. And it was due to um, domestic violence that no one really knew about. God's amazing grace happened to me like an eagle. He found a way to lift me out of my situation. About a year ago, um, I went to my, a fundraiser at my grandparents' church with my family, my aunt. And I ran to an old friend by the name of Mark. And uh, Mark knew me as a kid and we were like friends, good friends. And he knew the real Selena. And because I ran into Mark, it's like I woke up and I realized that there was another way besides death to my situation. And I chose to live. And so I moved to my aunt's and I lived with my aunt for about six months. And just out of the blue, we went to Bob Evans and there was Krista. Walked up, gave her a big hug and said, hey Krista, how you doing? And my aunt said, hey, come and eat with us. She's going, you don't know me. But uh, that's who we are. We invite people in. And she told us about Trinity and my aunt said, oh, I've heard so many good things about Trinity. And so I finally joined uh, Krista one day for our Zumba class and walked in and saw uh, the message on uh, the, um, call me the ancient's heart, the Bible study. And I wrote my name down and said, this is where I need to be. And I went to church the next sun that next day, and Pastor Arnie's message on healing. I knew I'd found my church. I'd found a support group, and um, it was amazing because people who knew me as a kid greeted me and hugged me and said, "It was so good to see you." And strangers introduced themselves, and those strangers are no longer strangers, but people I call friends. Pastor Arnie, his messages just healed my heart and soul. He has such a way with words, they just healed my broken spirit. My mind, it took a little longer. With the calming of the anxious heart, which Diane was just amazing in teaching me, I found another blessing that God had for me, friendship. When you've been isolated to just family and not having a personal friend, no one who called and said, hey, let's go here, hey, let's go out to dinner, how are you? That never happened before. I am an amazing group of women and now I know what the blessing of friendship means. And I feel truly blessed. I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal savior on April 24th, 2011. I asked him to be in my heart and my soul. And I have been truly blessed by him. My favorite verse that got me through the rough times, Hebrews 11.1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. It has, I even got a plaque and it's in my kitchen and just to remind me, be, have faith, God will provide. Because of the amazing people uh, and um, of Trinity, I wanted to give back, I wanted to serve. I have served in multiple um, um, functions that that church had, I've helped um, peel potatoes, wash dishes, whatever was needed. When the call came out for Awanas, I served as a leader and enjoyed myself. I enjoyed Awanas as a kid, and so I wanted to give back. And it was another blessing to my soul. Mrs. Gable always asks, so what has she done now? <laughs> and I am so blessed by having all these people who knew me as a kid, and yet know me now as a Christian. I am a work in process. I continue to work on my changes that heal, and I have healed, but there's still a long way to go. Now, my thing is giving back. As in Galatians 5, 22 through 23, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. I will forever be thankful to Pastor Arnie and the Congregation of Trinity for showing me the way back to God and ultimately the way back to myself, a child of God.
and he wasn't done with me yet. He's got lots of blessings that he's provided, so just ask him, and I'll tell you. <laughs>